What's poppin' is Enzo McFly. It's your girl, your car keys, I am. She what it do, man. This your boy, ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Angry here. It's your boy, Mikey Iso. What's up? It's your girl, Desiree Simone. And we K22 Radio, man. Y'all know what's going down. The biggest blood in America. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ Me What's going on, man? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. What's good, word? Show me DJ Shows. Say, man, it's Wapping Puerto Rico, man. Ah, baby boy, baby girl. It's your girl, B. Simone, and we catch. What's up, Houston? It's your boy, Quay. I just wrapped a dope ass interview with Catch 22. Yo, what's up? It's Indigo. I just wrapped up a dope interview with Catch 22 Radio. Look out for my single material, girl. Follow me on Instagram at Indigo Music with the A. You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com. And we are back. Um. We had a very interesting off uh, air conversation. Uh, did we just say we were going to bring that up? Huh? <laughs> we said that? Oh, well, we ain't going to say it. Um, but I think it kind of like uh, gave our guests a new perspective on how we view things. So this is a Man Case Sunday's first. Normally, Man Case Sunday is just men, but we have a woman in the building. A beautiful lady, too. She's y'all. very beautiful, she you know. Um, Miss Indigo is in the building. How are you doing? Hey, guys. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I can talk now? Yes. I can say something. Hey, what's going on? Nothing much. So, Miss Indigo, um, let the people know a little bit about what you do. Well, I'm a music artist. I sing, I rap. Get in that microphone, girl. Let's speak up so they can hear you. Oh, you know I'm very chill, so oh, I don't yeah. really get too hyped like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm an artist. Sing, rap, dance, do all that good shit. I mean, stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. You know, like. I curse know. a lot. <laughs> you curse a lot? Like, what's a lot? I try to contain it. Like, are they positive I mean, curse words, or are you just like. They're like positive, but my mom used to curse around me all the time, so it's like. That's it's hereditary. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma had a bad mouth, too? Grandma. No, nah, my grandma's pretty chill. Oh, my, my grandma had a terrible mouth. My mom's the one. <laughs> So, as far as being an artist, you say you rap, you sing, you dance. Which one would you say that you enjoy the most doing? All of it. I feel like it all kind of ties together as an artist. You know? Um, well, actually not. I'll take that back because some people can't really, you know. Do both. Do all three. All three, yeah. But I'm working on it. You know, like as far as dancing, I've been not... Pre- I've been dancing for a while, but like I had a little moment where I wasn't on my music as hard as I should have been right, so it right. kind of pushed me back a little bit but I'm getting back into it because I, I want to be an all around artist I got you I know it's not appropriate yeah. to ask a woman her age but you know how old are you are you Ooh, cause yeah. you look like a baby yeah. you do look like a baby do I look like a baby yeah for sure oh well I guess I'm gonna just have to look like one cause I'm not gonna feel I know it's not <laughs> Brian said I know it's not appropriate to I ask him her age but I have so <laughs> how old are you yeah. Bro, really look, 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 with the R. Kelly thing running around, you can never be too sure. You got to ask questions. You got to ask questions. I'm just saying, you know, like. We're going to leave that one a mystery. Are you from Houston? Born and raised? Um, No, I'm from California. What part uh, of California? Gardena. What is that? What is that? It's in, it's in <laughs> Southern California. It's like next to Compton, Hawthorne. Oh, we got to watch our back. Everybody got their bulletproof vest? I do. I got my gun. Don't play. Fire. Don't play. <laughs> <laughs> don't play. So you ain't never been like around rain or nothing, right? Because you say it don't rain in Southern California. It, it does rain. So they lied. It was just out there and it was raining. <laughs> yeah, they lied. How long you been in Houston? Uh, I've been out here since 2011. Yeah. I've been you, out here for a minute. What made you come out this way? Oh, my ex-boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> okay, so look, now I'm starting to calculate age. Because you said if you came out here with a boyfriend in 2011, you got at least seven years here. So you like mid twenties? Yeah. Ah, maybe. maybe. Dang. So what making you stay here since y'all since he's an ex now? I love now. Houston. Do you? I love it. I really do. Yeah. I mean, I came from um, San Antonio before. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. So I came a lot in San Antonio. No. Oh, don't play. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it's not that it is. It's, it a, is. it's a small group of people out there. I love so I'm play. pretty sure I know somebody that even came. Uh, with. Out there with. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, now that you are, I guess, serious about your music and you're pushing your music more, what would you like to accomplish, I guess, as your career would entail? Like, would you want to be like a megastar? Would you want to be like kind of like an Erica Badu, like a staple in the game? Right. Or um, do you just want to make a lot of money? 
Um, well, I'm not really doing it for the money because it's something that I enjoy. Um, I definitely don't want to be a megastar. I still need to have my personal time. So, I mean, being a staple, somebody that... I want to be a legend, but I still want to be low-key. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, Erica Badu's a legend, but she's still low-key. I That's because she's she weird. She's though. a little weird, but yeah, yeah, sure. I like that. I like I, that. I, I she's like the weirdness weird like too. That. You yeah. like weird people? Yeah, for sure. Why? Because you know they said that Erica Badu like she makes you take your pants off and fold them on side the bed. It's just something different. Erica Badu make everybody go vegan <laughs> after they have sex with her. I don't want to do that. <laughs> she got some. Good everybody, look, 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 look. Are you Common? vegan? Are you vegan? I have gone vegan before. Oh. I, I couldn't maintain it. <laughs> <laughs> You needed that meat back in your life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. No. no. <laughs> I, we're waiting on the answer. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, okay. I did. All right. So top three artists. Who would you say your top three artists is? Like if you had to put them like in a, in a box. Like if you had to give me three right now that you couldn't live without, who would be your top three? Mm. Nipsey Hussle, Beyonce, of course, because I love Beyonce. And Lauren Hill. Hmm. That's a wide spectrum. It is. It's a crazy mix. It is a crazy mix. I love everything. So, but yeah, those three definitely. I cannot live without them. All right. Well. You're going to be here for a little minute. You're going gonna to talk with us. Uh, we got a segment coming up um, called What a Man Wants. Yeah. Mm. And I you're going wait. to entertain with us. Oh so we're going to go into a gosh. quick mix with DJ Anthrax. <laughs> and when we come back, we have more with Indigo. Yeah. It is Catch 22 Radio, <laughs> Man Cave Sunday. She said, boy, I messed it. I say me. Yeah. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> you should have made anyway, it up like everybody else. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we back with Miss Indigo. And uh, it's Man Cave Sunday, and we are going into a segment that's called What a Man Wants. So I want to mm. know, what does Miss Indigo want from a man? Mm. Consistency. That's a lot of syllables. <laughs> <laughs> that was so it was too long you lost five consistency okay in, in what aspect though like what do you mean by what you're saying because guys it's like y'all do don't say y'all, y'all like them. y'all like, you know us and... y'all guys okay y'all do something for a short amount of time and then y'all stop like so do you y'all... so do you believe that it's because that you know maybe you stopped doing something and now no, you lost my attention. because I'm very consistent. I don't think it's But that it's easy like in the beginning, guys will do all this stuff. They'll take you out, you know, feed you. See, that's why you don't pump fake. That's a pump fake. They was already lying to themselves to begin with. They didn't want to take you out. They just had to that's take fact. you out. They did that just to get in good. And exactly. then after that, it's like, oh, okay, you a whole nother person. So how, long, so how long do you feel like it should be okay to talk to a man before you even actually let him take you out to get to know him? So even though if that's what he really I mean, wants I to feel do. like going out, I feel like that's all a part of getting to know someone. Mm. No. Yeah, it is. What do you mean? No. no. So look, look, look. Listen, <laughs> this is what normally happens. <laughs> normally when we go on a date, I got to pay for the date. Fact. So I got to spend gas. Not speaking. with let, me, though. Let me, fi- let me finish, y'all. Okay. Let me finish, y'all. <laughs> okay. All right. So I got to pick you up. That's gas. Fact. And then I got to pay for the dinner. Fact. That's money. So look, I might spend maybe $100, $125 on that night. Fact. And after I finish talking to you, I drop you off. I might not like you. I might say, like, that was a wash. So I didn't lost time and, and money. $125. That's true. Okay, well, that's what whatever females that you are. I mean, messing. Messing, messing in the go messing. <laughs> but no, I'm not like that. I feel like in the beginning, like, I don't mind doing 50 50 when you're getting to know someone. Oh, you a new age woman. I like you. A new age. <laughs> what new does age that mean? <laughs> Your mama on the over here, like, don't you say that. <laughs> you don't you say that. <laughs> I feel like 50 50 is cool. Like, especially when you're just getting to know each other. That's. I'm I mean, cool I do that. feel you because, like you said, consistency because when you said it like my attention span left like when you said consist I was like she yeah so you already <laughs> she was going <laughs> <too> <laughs> <hard>. <laughs> 
So how do you? That's on both parts. All right. So know. if a guy is taking you out, how do you even get to the point of paying fifty fifty? Like, do you tell him beforehand, like, we go do this date? I mean, I when the you. when the check comes, I'm like, hey, you know, I don't mind paying. Because like, <laughs> if you reach for your half. pocketbook, don't puff fake. Because I'm gonna put mine back. In no, pocket. no, see, no, no. if you do that, that's gonna turn me off. Don't do that. So I feel like it has to be communicated. Like, how do we know that? Like, as men, how do we know that we got somebody? Who's because with- you can kind of tell. Like, if you're gonna put your pocketbook back or whatever you said, a pocketbook. That's like so old school. Your wallet or Whoa. whatever you have. <laughs> you got a pocketbook. Dude? I'm saying she got a pocketbook. She got a clutch or a purse or something. Well, if oh. I'm pulling out my wallet and the guy's putting his back, like you really gonna do me like that? You not even gonna say we can do half and half? Nothing. You just gonna put it back? No. Okay, so, so if I pull out my wallet, you gonna keep your wallet up? What do you mean? If I pull out my card and be like, uh, like you gonna put your card on top of mine, like, oh, split it? on top and oh. say we can split yeah. it. That's because I'm asking all these questions because like you're single, it's called material girl. Yes. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> so you yes. know, based on that, you know, most material girls are not preaching what you're preaching. That's so, facts. Based on the well, single, my definition is different. Okay, so what's your definition by your real definition and the definition by the song? I mean, of course, I do. I mean, I'm screaming. We only who by spending that cash. See, right? See? Yes, I am screaming that, but I do like a dude to spoil me. I do like a dude to spoil me, but I will spoil him as well. Okay. Like, it's 50-50, <laughs> okay? But, like, just because I like nice things doesn't mean that I just have to let the dude take care of everything. I'm still independent. So, Material Girl is just about being an independent boss woman. Mm. That's real. So, where did you get the inspiration to write that record, per se, um, about being a Material Girl? It just came to me. Like, when I don't... Some songs, I... No, actually, I'll take that back. When I have, like, a direction for a song, I can never put it out because I'm thinking too hard. I overthink everything. Okay. So I have to listen to the beat and whatever I feel, I vibe out to it. I do, like, a little quick little freestyle, and then I write to a harmony or a melody that I put together. And that's how I just come up with all my music. So, okay. So, well, that like video my... was was really hard. It was. Know? So, Thank you. Did, like, did the di- like the dude that shot it came up with the treatment, or it was kind of like a collaborative effort? You know, that video it was really stressful. Why? <laughs> Why? Because like the dude was like, and I'm not knocking his creativity and none of that, but it was just a whole big mess. So you would never use him again is what you said? No, I would use him again, but I would need more time to use him again because I feel like everything was just rushed. Like, there was a scene that was not put into that video. There was a whole other outfit and everything, but we didn't have enough time because we were trying to shoot it in the daytime, and it was running over time, basically. But he did a really great job, and he's, his quality of work is really good. That's true. But um, I just like to work with people that's a little more... Uh, Structured. I can, yeah, structured for the amount of money that I pay for the video and that I can be cool with. Like, so, I felt like it was more of a distance thing. I don't know if it was because um, he was late and we didn't really have enough time to kind of communicate with each other. But it just... It was kind of like a high and buy. Like, you, you yeah. paid me, I did the service, and now yeah. I'm Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Right. I like to work with people that I can have a connection with or some, some kind of vibe. So are you so. working with anybody as far as anybody backing you? Any record labels, anything like that? No, no record labels. 100% uh, Well, I mean, my man, we are rocking with Kaki Int. That's the label that we're going with. Um, it's my manager. Shout out to Kaki K. Um, but right now, I'm kind of in the middle of getting everything together. Mm-hmm. Uh, from doing everything on my own. Okay. So I just finally got a team just like towards the end of last year. Um, I'm meeting with the publicist actually next week in New York. He seems really dope to me. My manager's actually trying to put me with somebody else, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm all about vibes. The feeling, yeah. Yeah, and so I want to go meet with this guy, Sean England, in New York because I want to see how we connect in person. That's real. So, how do you feel as being a, a woman and actually doing a lot of this on your own or going to go meet men? Do you think that uh, with you being pretty, does that affect anything? Or it definitely affects stuff. It does, and I've learned those lessons uh, early on. Oh, so you just make business. <laughs> That's why I kind of stopped. I stopped 
uh, pursuing music for a while because I was so stressed out from dudes <laughs> coming at me and yeah. not really having my best interest as an artist, but as somebody that they're trying to get with, you yeah, know? Yeah. So so how do you, how do you, I guess, uh, decipher that now? Because it's not like you got ugly. No. <laughs> well, before like, I was like, I'm real, I don't like to, like, be rude to people. So I try to be cool about it. Like, no, nah, no, nah, let's just get to work, you know? Okay, so I'm going to tell you how you So do. I was real passive, but now I'm like, no. <laughs> like, you just use the positive don't. curse words. You said you got a problem with cussing. Just yeah, start that's cussing. what I'm trying. It's so hard for me not to cuss. Right so you don't now. have no brothers or no. Male I have brothers. Figure. I have all brothers. I grew up with all boy cousins. I was always the only female. Like I have nothing but brothers. I've been around men, so I know what it's like. So that's why I try to just be like you know. But it's like you gotta have control. Like, yeah, that's true. Control yourself. <laughs> like what's wrong with you? <laughs> so I mean, you know. So where can they see the video Material Girl at? Material Girl is on YouTube, Indigo Music. Uh, yeah, that's my YouTube channel, Indigo Music. And it's also on my Instagram at Indigo Music with the A. How else you spell it? I, because people think it's the color. Oh, Indigo. 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 Yeah. I'm Indigo. Indigo. You, you Indigo. Indigo, like, yeah. I'm on to go. Is and that actually, what people, actually yeah, people don't from. understand what my name is. It's an acronym. Okay. Break right? it down. I-N-D is indefinitely, A-G-O are my initials. Indefinitely, Ashley Gwinnett Owens. So uh, that, yeah, Gwinnett. That's a weird name. Gwinnett. No, that's a Gwinnett. that's uh that's a city. That's what Amigos from Gwinnett, Gwinnett, Georgia. <laughs> I swear, look it up. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I'm just I'm just the, you just the third Migo. Okay. <laughs> you the fourth Migo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. well, Miss Indigo, can you let them know where to find you again on social media before we wrap it up? At Indigo Music, I N D A G O Music. On all, all platforms. All platforms. All platforms. Right. All right, well, Miss Indigo, it was definitely a pleasure to sit here um, talking with you. Uh, you drank like two man Moses. I'm about to be on my third one, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go into a quick mix with DJ Lace Front. Irrit, irrit. And uh, we're going to come back with Man Cave Sunday. It's more of what a man wants. It's Kiss 22 Radio. Let's get it. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 Radio Show on 92kills.com. <laughs> Ha 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 